Yo, what up, man? Chris and by checking back in, man. Back on the blog, man. Welcome to the 2021 stock drop list, man. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button on your way in, man. I appreciate all the support, man. It's been a great year. Happy to be back in Battle Rap. Happy to be doing my thing. So I appreciate everybody that supports the whole Unbiased Review movement. This stock drop list is brutal, my nigga. I got to keep it real with you. It's brutal. I done went through everybody's year, man, and tried to determine whether or not you need to be on a stock drop list from where you were last year to where you are now. This stock drop list I've been doing about five or six years. Niggas be in their feelings. Niggas be upset. But I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. You got to look in the mirror and look at yourself. Even I was on a stock drop list, bro. When I went to jail, I put myself on a stock drop list. So nobody is exempt. The stock drop list is brutal. It don't care about your feelings. It don't care about a lot of different stuff, man. It don't take no prisoners. So um, I just want to put that out there, man. So, um, but yeah, the stock drop list, I got honorable mentions. I got a top five. If you are in battle rap in any capacity, you are eligible for this list. I just want to make that very, very clear, man. So we got the stock drop list. Grab your popcorn. Coming at you right now, bro. Honorable mention number one on the stock drop list, man. Damn, homie. On RBE, you was the man, homie. What the hell happened to you? Oops. Shout out to Oops, man. I appreciate everything you do for the community, man. Running as a politician, man. Fighting for social injustice. That's dope. Fighting for equal rights. That's dope. Fighting for black empowerment. That's dope. I mean, you really on your Farrakhan shit, man. I got to keep it real with you, man. You really on your Farrakhan shit. Black Power, Assalamu Alaikum, Bean Pie, my brother. But the stock drop list don't care about none of that, oops. I got to keep it real with you. It don't care about none of that. Now, before I get into why you're on this list, man, we got to clear up a couple things, man. Because every time I watch a oops interview, you say the same thing. I left RBE to come to URL for a business decision. Uh, even when I was considered RBE, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, I'm gonna stay loyal to where I'm at. Right, right. You know, right. and that was one of the reasons why, and it just never made sense to come over here at the time, right? But like, as we progress, you make business decisions for yourself. Man, your ass got fired, bro. I gotta keep it real with you. Got fired. ARP wasn't rocking with you no more. You supposed to battle JC a couple years ago. Whatever happened between you and ARP, ARP started rocking with you. He stopped booking you, and your ass got fired, man. Somebody gotta start keeping it real around here, man. Oh, uh, you a politician, so I know you know you 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 choose your words wisely. You know what I'm saying? Business decision. I mean, what's next? You gonna say y'all mutually agreed to start working together, man? Your ass got fired, bro. Another thing we gotta clear up too. I gotta keep it real with you, bro. I, I mean, this really be getting on my nerves. So I gotta keep it real with you. Every single interview I see you do, bro, all you ever talk about is Daylight and Oops, bro. We gave each other classes, right? Me and Daylight, nobody expected that battle to be what it was, right? And when we got off that stage, bro, that set the t It was never a battle like that before or after. Daylight versus Oops is one of the best battles in battle rap history. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not. I got to keep it real with you. No, it's not, bro. It's a good battle. It's a good battle. Don't get me wrong. You kind of od in on this whole best battle and battle rap. I mean, every time I see you do an interview, it don't matter. Bro, that battle's so old, it don't matter. Every single interview you do, all you ever talk about is Daylight versus Oops, bro. So, like, there will never, ever, 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 ever be a Daylight versus Oops. There would never be another Daylight versus yeah, Oops. That's, that's, that's what that is, though. Yeah. You got classic battles, they're amazing battles, but it will never be something like that as far as impact. Bro, can you get another memory, bro? Can you get one more battle rap memory? Because this is all you talk about in every interview. I don't even know if you married, but I could see if you had got married or something, you'll be like, you know, I could see you like on your wedding vows and everything when you standing in front of your bride and, and they ask you to speak or whatever. You can be like, girl, you know, I love you, right? You know, I appreciate what you do for the family. I appreciate what you do for the kids. I appreciate you, what you do for me. And when you look, when I look in your eyes, I get that feeling that I had when me and Daylight had the best battle in battle rap history. It's like, bro, it ain't no way you can't talk about this battle. I don't give a damn every single interview. Expected, but when you booked Oops vs. Daylight, not one, including you, 
telling you is you can't take away from it's a moment that was a moment that was organic, dog. What what happened in that moment? You can't create that. You got to get another memory, my nigga. You have got to get another memory, man. But when you was on RBE, you was Valen Daylights and O'Rez. Then you came over here to URL. You started Valen True Foes and Homesy the God and Cubans. Sound like a bunch of cigars. I gotta keep it real with you. It sound like a bunch of cigars, bro. Like, yo, let me get like two Holmesies and a Cuban to go. Sound like a bunch of cigars. But I gotta keep it real with you, bro. You actually beat the cigar boys. I gotta keep it real with you. You beat Cuban. You beat Holmesy the God. And you beat True Foe. I was like, damn, this nigga oops doing this thing. Then you ran into Jack Boy Main, bro. Then you ran into Jack Boy Main. And Jack Boy Main beat the brakes off you, bro. He beat the break. That third round Jack Boy Main put on you was one for the ages, bro. That nigga beat you so bad, bro. I almost forgot the nigga was sick, bro. I gotta keep it real with y'all. Like, damn, that nigga don't even got lupus no more. He beat you so bad, I forgot the nigga was sick. Then you ran into Sharon. You been chasing Sharon for years after years after years. I mean, I still remember all the interviews, bro. You used to be talking about Sharon. This shit was crazy. Yeah, I want the I want the smack killer. Bring the smack killer on across the border so I can talk this Caucasian ass. What the hell Sharon been doing? Uh no, nah, we just bro, sometimes you just gotta remind folks in the, some of these folks in the culture that they white. You really thought you was gonna be Sharon with a white angle, bro? You know what I'm saying? Talking about ain't nobody ever really talked to Sharon like I'm finna talk about him, like you know what I'm saying, all these reparations are bro. You really tried to battle someone as well rounded as Sharon with a white angle, bro. This nigga basically flipped. This nigga killed you in the third round, bro. Nigga said you stealing money from from the from the campaign, bro. The nigga said you filed bankruptcy as a politician. Since when is a politician broke? I said I'm done speaking to oops this way. It's round three. I want to speak to Bruce today. Because I was a politician you stole from your community. Exposed as a fraud by the courts. You were supposed to make change, not take change. Is that what you want to enforce? Always oh, like, you write bars, I write bills, but your politics force. You do like passing bills from their pockets to yours. Okay. You owed 89000 It's really true. Then you declare bankruptcy? Is that what an honest man would really do? You stole from black men, black women, and black children too. You owe 250 a month. Look at me when I'm billing you. <laughs> a broke politician with no bread is damn near worse than a Harlem nigga with no bread, bro. A broke politician with no bread, damn near worse than a Harlem nigga with no bread, bro. Then you on Twitter begging for battles, man. I'm like, dang, it's really rough for oops out here, man. It's really rough for oops out here, man. One thing I don't do is beg for battles. So what started out is pretty good. You beat the cigar boys. You was feeling yourself, all this kind of stuff. Bro, you lost to Jack Boy Maine and you got cooked by Sharon, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when I look at your year, dog, I got to look at it as you on the stock drop list. You know what I'm saying? Because at least you were starting on the other league. You didn't came over here and now you coming off the bench. You got a couple DMPs and we keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? You was like a first round draft pick getting minutes on this other league, playing, your stats was high. You done came over here. You got a couple DMP coaches decisions, a bunch of other. I'm like, damn, what's going on with Oops? I got you on the honorable list of the stock drop list, man. Coming in at number two, this dude right here, bro. This, this dude, this nigga really be getting on my nerves, bro. Battle truth. I mean, did you really think somebody that statutory rate two women wasn't going to be on the list? I mean, normally I wouldn't put you on the list because your stock really didn't drop. From last year, you was really trash last year. But I mean, any time we find out in a calendar year that you statutory rate two women, I got to put you on a list. I got to put you on a list, my nigga. And it's been an interesting year for you, Battle True. I've been sitting back laughing, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really been saying much. I've just been sitting back smiling and laughing because me, Pretty Money, and John Ryan destroyed your channel. I've been looking at your views lately, man. What's wrong with your views, Battle Truth? What is wrong with just taking you like one day, a whole 24 hours to do like 900 views? What is going on with your views, man? And if your views are in the dirt, that mean we fucking up your money. That mean we fucking up your money. So not only is your channel dead, we fucking up your money. You having family issues. Your family then came out. Your son think you a creep. You trying to sleep with your daughter. All kind of stuff came out with you this year, man. 
all kind of stuff came out. But what was most interesting to me was watching you squirm every single video, man. Your demeanor, your look, you was looking distraught, you was looking disturbed, you was looking bothered, you was whining on the camera, you was damn near looking like you wanted to cry, you wanted to change your look. One minute you had on the black do-rag. And then one minute you had on the red do-rag. I was like, damn, what's going on with Battle Truth, man? You know, this nigga Sue whooping. What up, blood? Don't worry. I mean, what's going on? And then you had a do-rag with a hat. I was like, damn, this nigga really switching up his look. Then you had a do-rag with the hat to the back. I was like, okay, this nigga going through a midlife crisis. But man, when you had your hat and your do-rag off and you had the braids out, I was like, oh, this nigga on his MC8 tip. Is you down, nigga? Man, both of y'all shut the f up. Look at my motherfucking joint, nigga. But my favorite look is when you put the nose ring in. When you put the nose ring in, I said, this nigga losing his mind. This nigga think he Tupac. You think you Tupac, nigga? No, no, no. No, 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 no. You can't go to the internet and type up child pornography. It's not going to pop up because it's illegal. It's illegal. I know because I tried to do it once just to see it. FBI, open up! Yeah, man, I had to take that stupid ass robe off, man. Let me get into some real stuff, man, before we go to the next person on this whole stock stock drop list. This situation shows just how weak of a person you are in general, man. You First of all, you've been preying on young women your whole entire life. Preying on young women your whole entire life. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Second of all, when you was going through this whole little situation this year, all you did was whine on the internet, bro. Whine on the internet about how it's unfair and how niggas is turning on you and niggas ain't keeping it real. The same stuff that was happening to you, you were doing to people the entire time you on this channel. And now you want to whine about it. So trying to paint this picture or it's crazy how these dudes really, really trying to talk this stuff like it's real, like they was there, like it's facts, like they just walking through. And they really putting their whole hearts in it, they whole feeling in it, and speaking like this is the absolute truth. I, I could swear on it. I could bet like, and literally, literally trying to, and literally trying to sell it. Who don't know that that man was guilty? I haven't done a Battle Truth update lately, man. I haven't done a Battle Truth update. We kind of got off Battle Truth because Pretty Money, man, shout out to Pretty Money, man, had a death in his family and everything. We were going to interview Battle Truth's son. We were going to interview his son. That kind of thing, about, you know, Pretty Money went through a situation, man, and kind of fell back from the internet or whatever, had a death in the family. But at the end of the day, I ain't done a Battle Truth update. This is what's going on. I don't care nothing about no Photoshop, no phony ass DNA test. That's all them punk ass niggas do. ADEP, DME Detroit, Battle Truth, all these niggas, man, Photoshop, come up with all this elaborate stuff. You can't believe nothing that come out of these niggas' mouth. This is what happened with Battle Truth, man. Let me rehash that. I'm going to go over this really, really quick. Okay. All right. Battle Truth was 21 years old and had sex with a 15-year-old and had a son. These are facts. I ain't making nothing up. 21 years old and had sex with a 15-year-old. I need, I need niggas that still support Battle Truth to tell me in what world is this cool. I don't want to hear they was doing this in the 70s and the 80s. Even if that's true. Let's just say that. Let's just say he was a player-ass nigga, whatever. Because, you know, the nigga tried to say he was a singer. That, that was funny to me. The nigga tried to say he could sing. Welcome back. Mm -mm. Be careful of that Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, 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 you was on your R. Kelly shit. So, let's just say that stuff was true, right? Let's just say the first girl fooled you. Let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? Girls develop, either get breast, booty, and everything, kind of dress provocatively, throw some heels on, lipstick, all that kind of... Let's just say you were fooled. Okay. When you were 26, 27 years old, you had sex with another young girl who was 16 years old. Was I having sex with you at the age of 13 and 14? No. How old were you? I was 16 and a half. 
You have sex with a 16 year old. It's not legal in the state of Wisconsin for you to have sex with a 16 year old at the age of 26, 27 years old. At 26, 27 years old, why the hell are you even looking at girls that young? I don't want to hear no, oh, I couldn't really tell her age. I, I don't want to hear none of that, my nigga. You know how you could tell she's 16 years old when you ask her what the hell she do today and she tells you she had P.E.? When she tells you she had P.E., my nigga, you like, this shit young as hell. This shit young as hell. P.E., my nigga? No, 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 no. That's pretty much what happened, man. So you got her. You had sex with her. She had a daughter. She had a daughter by the name of Jerrica. You thought that that was your daughter. So as Jerrica got older, you claimed her as your daughter. She, you know, you kind of went through your little jail time, in jail, out of jail kind of thing. Yeah, she might have been raised by her grandmother a little bit and her mother the whole nine. And you was kind of in her life, kind of not in her life. But at the end of the day, you thought she was your daughter. She thought she was her dad. She called you dad, father, whatever it was she called you. And you called her your daughter. She then had a son by the name of Micah. And you introduced the YouTube community to Micah in a video and you call Micah your grandson. And in order for Micah, who's Jerrica's son, to be your grandson, you had to believe that she was your daughter. Uh, come meet my people. This is my grandson, Micah, y'all. Yep, Micah. Think he finna be moving in with his grandfather, um, along with my daughter. Might get him, might get him their own, um, might get him their own, um, they own channel. Y'all think I should do a show with my daughter? So according to your, according to your son, he walked in and you trying to get busy with Jerrica or, or she saw Jer, he saw Jerrica in an uncompromising position. I, I, I'll use the words uh, more appropriately, an uncompromising position and confronted you about that. And then, so you start trying to have this relationship with Jerrica, but you really can't have a relationship with Jerrica because she's your daughter. But you don't really know if she's your daughter. You start to wonder if she's your daughter. Maybe you always wanted, I don't really know. But because you wanted to pursue things further with her, you knew you couldn't do it if she was really your daughter. So you went and got a DNA test. Why else would you have a DNA test? You had a DNA test because you wanted to fuck your daughter. And in order to have sex with your daughter and marry your daughter, because you wanted to marry her too, according to um, um Julian, because accord, according to Julian, you bought a ring and you confided in him that you wanted to marry her. So you wanted a relationship with her. But you had to take a paternity test. I mean, you had to take a DNA test to see what see what was going on. I will admit that maybe the DNA results show that you're not her father. I mean, we don't know because we never saw the DNA results. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care what you put on the internet or show on or show on a piece of paper or whatever. Everything can be photoshopped. Everything can be photoshopped. I can go in there right now and print out a DNA test and put you you as positive 99.9%, .9 show it to the world, and it'll be completely fake. Photoshop is a it's a wonderful thing, man. That's why some of y'all need to stop trying to believe every document. You know what I'm saying? It's really amazing what you can do on the internet, switching stuff around, doing all kind of stuff. Do your own research, man. Don't be listening to these niggas. So I will admit she may have not have been your actual biological daughter. That may have been true, but you raised her and claimed her as your daughter for most of her entire life. So it's no reason, bro, what in what world is it okay to call a girl your daughter for her entire childhood and then start fucking her? That makes no sense. And you niggas still supporting this nigga. However many views he get, he's 900 views, still 900 niggas watching this nigga. Do not send me no stuff, Battle Truth dude, because that means you watch them. And I'm going to have to block you because you a lame-ass nigga now. Be like, nigga, you really watch this nigga? So now I got to block you. So that is what's going on with Battle Truth. I don't care about nothing they posted or nothing. I know what I didn't... The, we didn't talk to the family, man. I don't care nothing about what ADEP and the rest of these bum-ass niggas talking about. We didn't talk to the family. This man is going through a lot. When he turned that camera off at night. He got to stare in that dungeon with these old...
the bass blinds and he got a lot to deal with mentally. He's sitting around trying to do power hours and all kind of stuff. Then you had a nerd to do a power, I mean, to do a video with a lot of SMDs, man. A lot of SMD. That, that's what they, that's what, I mean, is that what they teach you in the Bible? Is that what they teach you in the Bible to talk like that? I mean, you was talking crazy, man. We started to see the, this, this situation brought out the real you. It brought out the real you in this situation. You emotional. You disturbed. You're bothered. No wonder you didn't go. No wonder you took a plea. You could have, you could have, you could have, uh, took the witness stand. You don't even know how to conduct yourself normally without getting upset. You're deleting comments. Why are you deleting comments? First, like early in the year, you was turning off the comments on your YouTube channel. Your dislike button was so fucked up. YouTube don't even include the dislike button no more. YouTube got rid of the dislike button because of you. They got rid of the button because of you. So you was, Turn off the dislike button for a minute and niggas was getting on you so you turned it back on. You deleting comments. I mean, this is what we doing. You deleting comments because niggas is killing you. I mean, good Lord. Then on your lives, you got your moderators deleting comments on your lives. You were so stressed by this situation and it felt good to see you go through this. And I told you I was going to destroy you. I told you I was going to destroy your channel. And I told you that I was going to make you irrelevant in battle rap. And that's exactly what I did. Nobody cares about you. To get 900 views ain't nothing. That ain't nothing in battle rap. There's no way in world you can act like you control any domino pieces or any pieces on the chessboard when you only get 900 views on a blog and call yourself a top blogger. It's nothing. You know what I'm saying? And this is what you're doing. You was getting about two, three, four thousand views. We didn't kill that channel. We didn't kill that channel. You know how many subscribers you got, bro? You got like 20 some thousand subscribers and you get 900 views in a day. I can get 900 views in an hour. You get 900 views in a day. You getting damn near like two, three percent of your subscriber base to even watch your videos. It's over, bro. I mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It's, it's over. It's over. Your relevancy in battle rap is over. You have done. 785 videos about me and nobody cares. You know why? Because you lie so much. So now you like the boy that cried wolf. Because first it was, oh, Chris was sleeping with a kid. And then they found out that was lying. It was like, oh, Chris, he's out of jail, but he can't get on the internet. This looked like the motherfucking internet to me. So then you was lying about that. Then it was like, oh, Chris, uh, you know, he's waiting on trial. You know, I can't wait till you go back to jail. Man, you know how long I've been out of jail? Do you know how long... I have been out of jail. I kept trying to tell you. I kept trying to tell you. Stop worrying about a case that the district attorney ain't worried. They didn't took a lot of people to trial in the middle of COVID. In the middle of this situation. They put Amar Arbery. They got damn uh, Jeffrey Epstein, uh, mistress on trial. They got a, uh, who, who else, who else just went to trial? Um, they got the, they got the truck driver that just, uh, ran his truck into like, and killed like four people. They got 4.8 million, um, petitions and everything he just went to trial the little truck driver with the brakes that didn't mess up that was a big story who else they took um george floyd they took george floyd the killer they did all this why they didn't take chris somebody to try i thought you told me i was waiting on trial i thought you, i thought that's what you told me all these people going to trial i thought you would tell me i was waiting on trial i kept telling you stop worrying about me you didn't cry spilled milk so much that nobody cares anything about what you say. And that is why I take great pride in putting you on the honorable mention list, man. Who's next? This next dude, man, on the honorable mention list. This next nigga, bro. He been getting a pass, bro. He been getting a pass from the battle rap community, but he will no longer be getting a pass from Chris Unbiased. Jada Nightwing. Bro, this dude, man. Shout out to Jada Nightwing, man. I rock with you. You are a talent in battle rap, bro. Listen, man, damn near every time I watch a Jada Nightwing battle, this nigga be stumbling. And damn near every time I watch a Jada Nightwing battle, this nigga be choking. Bro, y'all have made Chess and New Jersey twerk the poster child for chokes on URL. This is who y'all want to slander all the time. I get it. They're on some of the bigger cards and they're bigger names than, than uh Jada Nightwing. I get it. Bro, this nigga be choking just as much as them niggas, bro. Go back to before he was on URL. Go back to when he had PGs. And go back to when he finally got put on. This dude be choking all the time, bro. I just watched 
Him versus Loso, bro. That just dropped about seven days ago. This nigga third round. Have y'all seen this nigga third round, bro? Go to the app right now and turn on Jaden Nightwing's third round. This dude spit literally seven bars and quit. So that when you look me in my eyes, you see no one else but the son of God. I ain't just, I ain't just talking to your soul. You see no one else but the son of God. Hmm. Let me focus, y'all. My fault. Let me focus. I just need to focus. You know what I'm saying, bro? Seven bars and quit. This is on a traffic car. This is on the West Coast. This is in your backyard. The whole nine, seven bars and quit. I don't hear no uproar. I don't hear no uproar. Let it be New Jersey twerk. Y'all going crazy. Let it be chess. Y'all going crazy. Y'all have been giving this dude a pass. He choked versus Av. He choked in numerous battles since he's been on URL. Bro, every time I watch a new era list, this nigga's on it. And I'm trying to figure out, he ain't no better than none none. And I don't see none none on none of these lists. I got none none cooking this dude right now, bro. I got none none cooking this dude. Y'all keep forgetting about none. Y'all don't want to give none none no love. Y'all don't want to give none none no love. Then I look at the list. Y'all got Jaden Nightwing on there. All oh, this nigga do is choke. No, 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 no. And that's why you're on the stock drop list as an honorable mention. You know what I'm saying? That is why you are on the stock drop list. This nigga be choking way too much and y'all be giving this nigga a pass, bro. He will no longer get this pass. He has lost damn near all his battles this year, bro. Except for Twerk. And he might have lost. I think he lost to Danny. I think I got Danny one in that battle too. But even though that's a pretty good battle. Bro, he only beat one person. He might have beat Twerk. That might be it. You know what I'm saying? Cortez L. Av L. Loso L. Danny good battle. Probably an L too. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you got to go on a list, my guy. You got to go on a list. You got to get this choking in order. You have got to get this choking in order, man. And, uh. That's why I got you as an honorable mission. It's not nothing personal. It's not nothing personal, but you got to go on the list. Who's next, man? This next dude, bro. This next dude. I rock with this dude a lot, but it seemed like his stock is dropped. I got to keep it real with you, bro. It seemed like his stock is dropped. He's not getting talked about like he used to be getting talked about. And even that wasn't where it should be, but people are lapping him, bro. And the fact that people are lapping him, he got to go on the list. Mike P. Shout out to Mike P, man. You turn it into a better blogger than Balor, bro. I got to keep it real with you, man. Your blogs are fire. Your battles are good, too. But you ain't been winning, my G. You have not been winning. They put up a new era list. You know, they've been doing a smack era versus URL era versus new era. So you got all these different eras. You know what I'm saying? You got the old era, which is like Arsenal and the Lions Den and the smack era. And then you got like the... The, the URL era, and then you got the new era, which is like headlined by Geechee. He kind of represents the new era. And in that era, you can put all these other new guys in. You can put the T-Tops, and you can put the uh, the easy-to-block captains, all them. I was looking at the list, and somewhere I didn't see your name, bro. I was looking at the list, Mike P, and niggas are leaving you off the new era list, bro. And I'm looking at the names that's on the list. I'm looking at Jaden Nightwing. He on the list. Kid Chaos. He on the list. Lou Castro. He on the list. Easy to block captain. He on the list. Chess is on the list. Niggas are lapping you, bro. Niggas are lapping you in battle rap. And that cannot be acceptable, bro. You battle real sick. That was an L. You battle Lou Castro. That was an L. You battle T-Top. That was an L. Oh, but Chris, I'm biased. T-Top cheated in that battle. Man, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If you, you, know, you know what they say? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, my nigga. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I don't care about no conversation ahead of time. I didn't know T-Top was going to say this. Man, shut up. At the end of the day, you done lost all your battles this year, bro. Every single battle you had this year, you lost, my nigga. Every single battle you had this year, you lost. So, I got to put you on the list, man. I got to put you on a list because we ain't seen you in a while. I don't know. I put up a poll. I think I put up saw a tweet saying I wouldn't mind seeing you versus Aver. Niggas was killing me. Niggas was killing me like, what do you mean? Mike P versus Aver. Mike P fell off. I'm like, good Lord.
You know what I'm saying? Like they don't even they don't even want you to buy a verb, and they thought verb fell off. That's the crazy part. So Mike P, you gotta get your stock up, bro. You gotta get your stock up because you have been having. I actually feel like your battle's been pretty good, pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like your real sick battle from keeping it real with you. Your T top battle was all right to me. If I keep it real with you, you you play to win the game, and you are not winning any battles, bro. The niggas in the class behind you are lapping you, bro. They lapping you at the end of the day. They lapping you. I'm sorry, you a white boy on you already. You got to work harder. You got, might have to work harder than some of these other guys. It is what it is, man. Life ain't fair. You might have to work harder than some of these niggas, bro. But at the end of the day, I rock with you. But I ain't, I got I can't front your stock is down. Nigga try to kill me on Twitter when I had one Mike P tweet. Nigga try to kill me. After that, I was like, oh, this nigga stock got to be down, bro. This nigga stock got to be down. They killing me. And that is why you are on the audible list, man. It ain't nothing personal, Mike P. I actually like you, Mike P. It ain't nothing personal, man. It's nothing personal at the end of the day. This next dude, man. I actually like this next guy, man. You know what I'm saying? When he first came on the scene, I was co-signing him. I was co-signing him hard. I ain't going to even front, bro. This was one of my favorite battles when he first came on the scene. But, bro, I don't know where this nigga been in battle rap this year, bro. Jerry West, bro. I had to. I was wondering if you was even still alive, my nigga. I was like, yeah, I gotta look up Jerry West. See, this nigga even still alive. I was like, ain't no way this nigga ain't had no battles, bro. Bro, you have been so obsolete in battle rap this year. I almost forgot you was even alive. I was like, man, I need to check, make sure Corona ain't get this nigga or something, bro. You battled, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's been a long time since you 3-0 Danny Myers, bro. You 3-0 Danny Myers, and I thought you was on your way. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Danny Myers is a hard nigga to beat. Not only did you beat him, you beat him every round. This was, this was like a couple years ago, though. This wasn't, last, this wasn't this year. And I was like, damn, Jerry West is really making his mark in battle rap. Then you went out there. You lost to Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? You lost to Arsenal. You hopped in a tournament. You let Swamp spank you. You lost to Swamp. You lost to Loso at Nome. You know what I'm saying? You lost to Loso at Nome. Then we saw you on a small league battle in Brooklyn Carter. Bro, you got more credit card scams than wins, my nigga. You got more scams than wins this year, bro. And I got to keep it real with you. Your stock dropped because I forgot you was even on the roster. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep it real with you, bro. I almost forgot you was on the roster, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, this nigga, they must have dropped this nigga or something. Where are you going to be at in battle rap? Everybody in your class laughing you too. Chess higher than you, easy to block. Captain higher than you, Swamp higher than you, Ace of Mean higher than you, Jack Boy Main higher than you, T Top higher than you. I mean, bro, the list go. I mean, Kid Chaos, this nigga, Kid Chaos ain't even won a battle this year, bro, and he higher than you. Kid Chaos hasn't even won a battle this year, bro. He, bro, all five of his battles he didn't lost on the app, bro. Danny Myers, Chess, Jada Nightwing, Chilla Jones, Holmesy the God. 0 for 5 on the app. And he hired you, my nigga. That ain't right, man. Come on, man. This ain't that right. Boo! Are you kidding Boo. me, man? Boo! Boo! This ain't right, man. Boo! This ain't right. Boo! Boo! Oh, this West, you gotta get it together, bro. You gotta get it together, Jerry West. And you better beat your next opponent. Because you gotta get your stock up, bruh. You, I got too much faith in you, man. I still remember the Glue Easy battle when you was going crazy. I remember, I remember you 30 and Danny. I remember all that. You joined EFB and fell off. It's bad enough you don't do no interviews, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't, you, it's bad enough you don't do no interviews. Niggas don't, niggas in your own squad don't even be bigging you up, really. To keep it real with you. When the last time you seen Geechee say anything about Jerry West, bruh? Last time anybody, Rum Nitty, say anything about Jerry West. Be Magic, anything about Jerry West. Anybody say anything about Jerry West? Bro, I didn't even know the nigga was alive, bro. I didn't even know the nigga was alive. Bro, you got more credit card scams than wins this year, bro. You got more credit card scams than wins, bro. And that is the honorable mention list, man. We about to get into the top five on the stock drop list, man. Two, three, two, Coming in at number five on the stock drop list, this dude, bro. This dude is like one of the best dudes in battle rap history, man. Definitely had his moment, man. I would love to do an untold truth with him, but after this, he ain't gonna wanna talk. Murder me. Mook. If you shit me! 
Shout, Shout out to Mook, man. You know what I'm saying? I expected big things of you, man. You actually disappointed me. I got to keep it real with you, bro. You disappointed. You came into the year. You negotiated your YouTube release with Tay Rock. The battle was crazy. Wait a minute. I don't know what's worse. The fact that a nigga would just say bare hands could take your chain. Or the fact that a nigga would just say bare hands could break your chain. How I could just walk in the middle of the mall and make your chain. And then you come back to URL with a faker chain. Wait a minute. You pay to get something back that's fugazi? You crazy. Wait, it should have been surgery. New body, maybe something from a waist snatch. You couldn't be a bigger ass paying for something fake back. I don't fuck with battle rappers because y'all think small. And I hate that. Arguing about a million views. I'm trying to get paid that. You know what I'm saying? The battle was crazy to start the year off. You got the release. Everybody was on Mook's high horse, man. Like, yo, Mook is that dude. Look the way he broke down. Tay Rock, look at the battle. This is why Mook is one of the goats. Everything. You supposed to ride that wave, my nigga. You supposed to ride that wave. You finally got a YouTube battle that niggas was rocking with. And you are supposed to ride that wave. But what you do? What you do, Mook? You got a two-on-two -two with Calico. I don't know what you niggas was talking about on, on, on that stage. I gotta keep it real. I don't know what you or Cal was talking about on that stage. You talking all through T-top rounds and everything, man. You feeling frustrated and everything. And then Smack had to say he happy T-top messed up the battle. Yeah, he just fucked the battle up. Fuck the battle. Yeah, but it's good though. It's I'm good. glad Chop was on his bullshit at the end though, yeah. too. Then you lost to Reed Dollars, bro. I gotta keep it real with you, man. I watched that battle about three or four times, man. I was like, yeah, let me figure out a way. Maybe Mook won this battle. You know, I watched it regular speed. You lost. I watched it slow down. You lost. I watched it in reverse. I watched the third round, second round, first. You lost. Every which way I watched the battle, you lost the battle, my G. You know what I'm saying? You won. The third round, I had you losing the first two, man. And I was just like, Reed ain't even that crazy, bro. Reed is not even that good to me. You know what I'm saying? He's still kind of a little outdated to me. To, he ain't even that crazy. You lost to Reed Dollars, bro. Then you're going to tell Black Compass Media that you ain't worried about the big stage. Like, the big stage don't matter. You don't even know why we worry. Bro, you cannot battle on the main stage. I don't care what stage it is. I don't care if it's a max out. I don't care if it's a park. I don't care if it's Gnome in Houston. You are not built for the big stage. I'm sorry they gave up on that, bro. You ain't built for the big stage. There's a narrative going around that you can't rock a big stage. It's too long, right? Long winded. Can you please address the, this for the haters? Salute, legend. Mm -hmm. Thanos. I mean, thank you, Thanos. Salute. I mean, rock a big stage is not what I feel like battle rap should be concerned with. That's one. Mm. Then you are getting online with three Letterman. You are getting online with three Letterman over Miss Piggy Bar. Bro, we know Miss Piggy is a Muppet nigga. Round one, when you came out telling Reed about um his wife should suck you off. M Murder Mook should ever write M-I-S-S-P-I-G-G-Y. I just Yo, <laughs> yo, double pump. Him a Muppet resemble Miss Piggy. I get it, Mook. No, you he didn't. Don't no, get you it. didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Did you? What? Tell me the line. Cal, you were 17. Black gone. No, tell me the line. Tell me the line. You were 17. I'm telling you. Tell me the line. You ever heard a double crazy, pump? Right? No, you know what a double pump look like? Movie yeah, feeling like, nigga, listen, I'm telling you. Right? Said, right? Nigga, I was your first battle you went to. Yeah. Yo, you know what a double pump is, right? Yes, we'll continue, man. <laughs> so you, what was the line? Him a mup. No, him a muppet. Him mm -hmm. a muppet. Miss mm -hmm. Piggy was a muppet, correct? You don't get it. Sorry, I'm from the arrow. Was Miss Piggy a muppet? A muppet or not? Okay. Double See, punk, and that's what bothers me about with... these analysts. They can't. They not professionals. They don't know bars. So... You was supposed to battle on the Drake card. Okay, cool. I understand Briz backed out of the battle. I get it. It kind of messed up your little funk schwa or whatever you had going on. You thought you were going to battle Briz. Whatever happened with the contract situation, Briz didn't do the battle, backed out of the battle, or never accepted the battle, whatever it is. I don't really want to say he backed out. He never signed a contract, so he can't back out if you don't sign a contract. But he never signed a contract. You were led to believe you was getting Briz. So you missed out on a bag with Drake, a big bag that I'm hearing. You missed out on a bag with Drake. They tried to get you easy to block Captain. 
You know what I'm saying? You backed out of that battle. You look like you ducked him. You know what I'm saying? You look like you ducked easy. But I ain't really mad, though. I got to keep it real with you. I ain't mad, Mook, because you wasn't going to be easy no way, bro. You was not going to be easy no way. So you really ducked the right smoke. You really ducked the right smoke. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you must have knew what, what was in the wind or whatever. You you knew not to take easy to block captain. But, bro, after that, bro, you just started snitching on everybody, bro. I got to keep it real with you, man. You know what I'm saying? You started sounding like a whole bitter bra, bro. You started going on IG. You started whining. Oh, Smack. You know, Smack is losing control. He's letting, you know, Drake be the host. But now he's flipping the coin. And New News claims he set up the battles. And I'm the one that really set up the battles. And I didn't really duck. And how you going to let Easy know about the battle but not let me? Bro, there's no crying in the URL, man. Didn't O Red teach you that? Hey, hey. Y'all should be on my side. Trust me. All you niggas that just came off this card, that got uh, all the new money, that was responsible for me. I was the nigga that made Smack ain't do none of that. Beasley ain't do none of that. Let's get Drake on this line. Drake, somebody needs to stop me soon. Oh, man. Because I could be drunk just talking. <laughs> I could be drunk just talking. Drake was my friend. Smacking, yo, I don't know what happened. They was my friend. We all could have got money. Then all of a sudden, you know, they tried to give me less money out. Yo, it's deep. You know what I'm saying? So when I look at your whole year, you missed a bag. You ducked easy. I didn't say nothing wrong about you on this whole live beforehand. Right, I didn't say right, nothing. Right. You came you up know. here. Easy. Real shit. Who the fuck is you for me to want half the battle you? First and, of and, all. And okay. That's and, one. And you, can you lost the read. Your two on two was trash. Bro, it diminishes your whole year of having the YouTube release drop, bro. It diminishes your whole year. And now the fans don't want to see you on a main stage, bro. They don't. I gotta keep it real with you. They don't want to see you on a main stage. It got so bad for you. Smack posted this. Smack I gotta stop making niggas famous, bro, is what Smack posted. A lot of people felt like Smack was talking about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people felt like that. It was either you or Norris. I got to keep it real with you. Norris, Norris, my guy. But it was either you or Norris. But based on the time, it kind of would seem like it might have been you, Mook. I got to be honest with you, bro. What's next for you, Mook? What is next for you, bro? You ain't going to be able to beat nobody on the main stage, bro. If you don't get these niggas in a small room. And now it's even making your small room versus Tay Rock even worse. Because you cleared out the entire crowd. You made it to where it was just you and Rock. And now it's looking like maybe that's the only way you're going to win the battle, bro. Yeah, I got to keep it real with you, Moot. 2021. It, it, didn't, it, it hasn't gone that well for, for Murder Mook. He's coming off this high. Last year he beat Rock. He's looking like, damn, this is the move we've been waiting for. We turn around. We get the two and two with Cal. Ass. But we like, maybe it's just who can good for a two-on-two. We don't know. Maybe he wasn't motivated, you know? Who made excuses. Then, who battled Reed Dollars. It's supposed to be a layup. Someone matters. I was in the building. I'm, I'm ready. I'm waiting. And, you know, I'm a Mook fan. I was at Max. I was Mook. Took a picture with him and everything. Only battle rap I ever take a picture with. We don't do that fan shit. Then he started rapping about folding up a motherfucking dollar bill. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <sighs> Didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go. Consensus is Moop lost that too. Then we keep hearing Moop and Briz, Moop and Briz. Finally, 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 we get in this Briz battle. Reverse, no bridge battle. You say easy. Okay, we take easy. Easy the people's champ. Mook releases a statement. Backs out of that battle. Nah. It's not looking good for Mook. It's not looking good at all. Honestly, what battle even makes sense for Mook besides the surf battle at this point? And the way surf looking, that's like a layup. That's just for surf to make up for the Lux battle. And that's why I got you at number five on it. It's not personal. It's not personal. I just got to be honest. Coming in at number four, man, this dude, man. 
Shout out to this dude. This dude actually a cool ass nigga. I really hate to put him on the list, but the stock drop don't take no names. You know what I'm saying? The stock drop say if you deserve to be on the list, you gotta go on the list. Stop. Jag. Shout out to Jag, bro. I really hate to put Jag on the list because Jag a cool nigga, but Jag, look at your year, dog. I mean, God, we look at your year, bro. You had battle 40 cal, you had battle Mav. This was all like a year and a half ago. This was before 2021. And you was kind of like bubbling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't really like super crazy body and niggas, but you, your promo game was through the roof. So niggas was kind of rocking with you. You came into the year, you battled O-Red, bro. It wasn't a crazy battle. O-Red lost his voice. It wasn't really a good battle. You didn't really have such a crazy performance. I can keep it real. You had a bunch of Uber jokes that got you by. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. But my nigga, you battled ill will after that, bro. You went on a promo run so crazy on what you gonna do to Will, bro. What you gonna do to Will, what you gonna do to Will. And you went up there and got body. You went up there and got body, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was so bad, man. I felt bad for you, man. Just looking at you on the stage, it looked like you was gonna cry, bro. It literally looked like you was gonna cry. Keep going. Keep going. Real quick. You got body so bad, ARP couldn't even put you on no more cars. ARP couldn't even put you on no more cars. You supposed to spin a block and do you and Arsenal. Nigga couldn't even do you and Arsenal. I, look, I didn't cancel the battle, bro. I'm only the nigga getting paid to do my job. They called me and told me that it's over. Find, I, you got to find somebody else. Bro, that don't got nothing to do with me. That's because this man here went up there and stunk up the gym. Then you was supposed to be in the King of the Dot tournament, and then you wasn't in the King of the Dot tournament. Niggas was trying to say you making up lies. I don't know. You did say someone in your family or someone close to you died or whatever. I don't know. Niggas on the West Coast saying it's all cap, though. I got to keep it real with you. Then you got niggas calling your, your set in question. Niggas saying you turned game banger once you got grown. I know this nigga. <laughs> Let's go. I really know this nigga. I really know this nigga. He's an industry rapper. In the industry, die move. He never had to catch a nigga slipping and slide through. When I met you, you weren't claiming 20 bloods nor power rule. This is what these guys do. Get around a bunch of squares and claim they the biggest blood in the streets. If cuz wanted beef, I run up on Jag while he in this Jag. Fully muzzled the heat. You should have ran that red light when you was fucking with me. Because it's the same outcome. This blood in the sheets <laughs> you wasn't even repping no game before all this kind of stuff nigga is saying bro you let disaster call you a bro on ig live bro you let him call you a pussy you ain't even do nothing about it you ain't even you ain't even really say nothing to disaster about it i'm telling you listen, straight up i know that's your homeboy this i know that's your homeboy you boy. gonna, nah, listen, you listen, gonna listen, reschedule this you ain't bigger than action bro and you want to be bigger than nobody out here but the, you I ain't bigger than nobody else but the west ain't doing nothing mama you ain't and you pussy, straight. I can't even hear what you're saying, dude. I didn't hear what he said. Yeah. When you when you look at your battles, the old red battle, the ill will battle, you backed out of the, backed out of the King of the Dot tournament. They couldn't even book you versus Arsenal because you had lost so bad. You know what I'm saying? Disaster violated you on IG. They calling you a fake blood, bruh. Then you got people doing videos saying you scamming them for features, and you even lost a fake battle. To ARP, bro. Hold on, no, 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 no. Don't change that. Go back and yes. tell I'm talking you about living in a mansion. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Just said it. I own multiple properties, though. Oh, multiple. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Multiple. multiple. I feel good. Oh, I feel oh, good. That's my type. Yeah. So I like that. I feel what good. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? I feel. We ain't gonna talk money over here. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk about business over here off camera. You know we talk business off camera. That's not our business. Listen, listen. That's your Listen, property. Yeah, I own multiple properties, baby. How many, how many, I just got how, something in many, Vegas. You know what I'm saying? I just got? got a restaurant in how Vegas. Many you so got? I got a taco truck coming. How many cribs? I'm living good. How many cribs? I got three. You got three cribs. Yes. Yes. You got a taco truck. Yeah. You got a clothing line. Yeah. And you said a restaurant? Yeah, I just, what, I just opened it yesterday. What, what type of food? Jamaican. Jamaican food? Yeah. What's the address? Man, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> you opened it yesterday. House of Dutch Pot. Google House of Dutch Pot. I asked you the address. Las Vegas, man. I asked you the address. What's the I'll, street? I'll be high. It's on Durango. Oh, my God. Yeah. Show me your gram. It's on your gram, right? You just opened up yesterday. You had to be there. If you, you're the owner? I'm the owner. I know what it's like to open up one of them things. Yeah. As an owner, I was there. So you're the owner, right? I'm a money though. Actually, mine is on my I'm a, gram. I'm a side Mine is partner. on my gram. When I opened up a store, it's on my gram. Nah, when you bought up, show you, you got mine. time to be at every one. I could show you I mine. I had to be here for this. So I I, I, I didn't you're go. My, I had to put you on a list. I didn't want to put you on a list. You seem like a cool guy to me. I didn't really want to put you on a list. 
you had to go on the stock drop list, man, at number four, man. So we're going to see what's next for Jag. Coming in at number three, this person, bro. Official. Shout out to Official, man. I actually like Official, bro. Official, in my opinion, have been one of, if not the best female in Battle Rap. One of them, man. I put her up there with the 40 bars, the jazzes, the coutures, all them kind of people, man. You fell off official and you fell off bad. I got to keep it real with you. You battled 40 bars last year. You know what I'm saying? In 2020, you did pretty good in the 40 bars. Now, since then, your career has been in the toilet. Your year has been trash. I got to keep it real with you. Your year has been trash. You've been losing so bad. They want to make you a Jenner. They don't even want you to be a Bardashian no more. They were like, you know what? We need to make you a Jenner. You ain't really been winning no battles. I got to keep it real with you. How you go from the best Bardashian to the worst Bardashian? You not even above Casey J right now. You got Jazz who you beat already. She over you. You got Casey J who been putting in work. She over you. You under all of them right now, bro. You battle Cortez, you hop in a tournament, you are 80 to 20 preference to win the for, to win the against Cortez. 80% of the fan vote, maybe even 85, was picking you to win. You went up there and Cortez spanked you. 100 advance, yeah. Y'all hoping to advance her. Y'all ain't know my roles are replaceable. Bitch. I'm the Black Panther. 100K to get your fucking body done? So whack answer. My account, the only thing that's seeing a fat transfer. Drumming for the mag. I'm drumming. I mean, he spanked you bad, too. I got to keep it real with you. He spanked you bad. Then you battle Tay Rock. You battle Tay Rock. You probably beat Tay Rock, but then you really lost to Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you win a battle and lose the war and all that kind of stuff. This nigga, I don't really be in a body shaman. You know what I'm saying? I already really in a body shaman. I don't really like get on camera talking about a bunch of chicks' bodies and all that kind of stuff. But this nigga Tay Rock says you had an oil funnel body. An oil funnel body. How do you even think of something like that? This nigga Tay Rock said you shake like an upside down cotton candy cone. You got a car oil funnel shake body, bitch. Ooh, this ain't right. Ooh, Ooh. Oh. I'm gonna keep it going. You got a cotton candy on a cone body, bitch. But how did he know? How he found out? Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? Then you battle Gaddis and you got your ass. Gaddis came out of retirement, battled Lady Caution. We hadn't seen Gaddis in about a long time. I don't know when last time we saw Gaddis. We saw Gaddis battle on Gates of the Garden versus Lady Caution. She steps onto the Queen of the Ring slash URL stage and beats you clearly all three rounds. You got exposed during caffeine. I still got faith in you. I still feel like you a talent. I don't want to feel like I'm coming down too hard on you. But you started chasing the bag. Every time they called you for a battle, you like, oh, I can probably write, you know, in this short amount of time. And you started chasing every single caffeine bag when you should have been pumping your brakes and allowing some of these other girls to get on these cards. And you just rest, get your bars right. And the bad part about it, there was an argument that you probably could have been like the number one female in battle rap. You did a very good verse 40 bars. I think that was in 2020. You came into this year. I don't know any battles you won. I don't know any relevant battles you won. And all these girls, every time I go to OTF page, it's girls smoking you in the comments. They lost all respect for you. Now, I feel like you're going to get it back. Because I think Jazz gave you a little bit of, uh, I think she reinvigorated your career. You know what I'm saying? I saw one of your tweets. Oh, Jazz inspired me after seeing her battle Gaddis and all that. So I feel like you're going to get it back. You done took a lot of time off too. But it don't matter because in 2021, you got cooked. That's why you number three on the stock drop list. Coming in at number two, this dude. Man, I don't know what the hell happened to this dude. I got to keep it real. This this dude, this dude here is a mystery, bro. Chilla Jones. Bro, what the hell you been doing this year, bro? I know you may have battled niggas that sound like me, but you never stood in front of three rounds like these. I should have known you was going to have a bad year by the way your year started. First of all, you battled K-Shine early in the year. You did really well versus K-Shine. But you should have realized then that whoever won that battle would have been champion of the year. You should have realized that then. I mean, besides, Chris Unbias told you in a blog. I told you in a blog that if you won this battle right now, that you would be champion of the year. So knowing that, 
you think you would call out Lux, right? You got to call out Lux. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to call out somebody, you got to call out Lux. You got to be champion of the year. If you beat k oh, you're going to beat k you got to call out Mook. At least call out Mook. You know what I'm saying? One of the big dogs. You don't, you don't want them to. You know what? You're going to win champion of the year. At least call out Hollow the Don. You know what I'm saying? Call out one of the big dogs. At least call out Hollow the Don. This nigga, in his biggest battle of his URL career for champion of the year versus k -Shine, you call out a nigga under you? This man losing. I'm proving he was way off. I just knocked K off. Now where the fuck is chaos? I should have known right then you was going to have a whack ass year because you got to get you a manager, bro. I don't know who got your career. I don't know none of that, bro. But your marketing is terrible. Your battle selection is terrible. I do not know who has got in your career, bro. You won champion of the year and didn't even battle. You know what I'm saying? You set out the first five months of the year, came in battle on Norm 11. I was like, okay, Chilla Jones, he kind of chilling. He must be waiting for the big cars, the big, big cars. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, he battled with Norm 11. Nigga ain't headlining. You champion of the year. Smack can't get you the headline one battle. You champion of the year. You battle Tay Rock. Tay Rock beats you, bro. You sat out all that time. You sat out the first five, six months of the year and Tay Rock beats you. I was like, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He'll get it back. You know what I'm saying? He's champion of the year. He got he to gotta get it back. He got to see him on a Summer Madness card. You know what I'm saying? Champion of the year. What kind of champion of the year wouldn't be on Summer Madness? So I was looking, man. I was looking, man. I had gra I grabbed my phone, man. I was looking, man. I grabbed my phone, man. I was like looking at the card, Summer Madness. I'm looking at it. I'm like, this nigga got to be on Summer Madness, right? I ain't see you. I said, maybe, maybe, maybe I ain't looking right. Put the glasses on. I'm like, okay, got to see the nigga. Like, damn, the nigga still ain't on here. I said, hold up. I mean, I ain't looking right. I got to get the magnifying glass. I look. The nigga still ain't on Summer Madness. I'm like, okay, he got to be on the Drake card. You know what I'm saying? Drake, big battle rap fan, looking around, scanning who the top niggas in battle rap. He got to get the champion of the year on the card. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking. I don't see him on the car. I'm looking. I'm like, damn, he ain't even on the car. I put on the glasses. I'm like, maybe I ain't looking correctly. I still don't see the nigga on the car. And I said, hold up. I know Drake picked this nigga up. I look. The nigga still ain't on the car. Damn, Drake couldn't even put you on the car. You champion of the year. You are real. Couldn't put a bug in your ear to get on the car. Drake couldn't put you on the car. Drake put real sick on the car and not you. You champion of the year. So I'm like, hold up. This nigga got to have a battle with Chris Breezy House. He's champion of the year. He got to have a battle with Chris Breezy House. What kind of champion of the year don't, don't rep for the championship? I had to put my glasses on, man. I didn't even see you at Chris Brown House, man. I'm looking. I was like, man, this nigga ain't at Chris Brown House. I see Chess. I see Charlie Cliff. Niggas playing basketball and shit. I don't even see you there. So, oh, no, this nigga got to be at Chris Brown House. I'm looking. The nigga ain't at Chris Brown House either. So I'm like, bro, what the hell did you accomplish winning champion of the year, bro? What did you accomplish? You couldn't headline a super fight? You URL couldn't get you the headline of Super Bowl. You didn't headline no events. You won the champion of the year at the bottom of the car still. Bro, come on, man. No, 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 bro. You got to get a manager, bro. Hey, you gaining a little bit of weight. You looking kind of swole, bro. You looking kind of swole in some of these pictures, man. So I was like, bro, what is going on with this nigga year? Then you about to rock and you started dry snitching, talking about you wrote for surf. First of all, we don't care, my nigga. We do not care that you wrote for surf. I know you hope his gun title's cooking forever. You and surf had a fire battle against each other. And there's some bars that I couldn't remember, but that one construction scheme he had against you, fire. <laughs> now that surf helped him put it together. It's whatever. First of all, let me get this right. You a battle rapper that's under surf, but you're trying to extend to be the top of battle rap. So you write for niggas that's above you so they can continue to elevate while you're trying to elevate, but you never catch them. Bro, you got to make it make sense, bro. You got to make it make sense, my nigga. Why are you writing for Surf? What the fuck Surf do for you? What do you do? Like, you ain't on gun titles. You ain't on no cars. You ain't headlining on no cars. You ain't nothing. What is Surf doing for you? What, he threw you a couple of dollars? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, why are you writing for niggas? And then when a dry snitch six years later, we don't care. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We do not care, bro. Then you battle Emerson Kennedy, bro. bro. You let Emerson Kennedy beat you, bro. Bro, this nigga be commentating part-time, and he took time out of his schedule to beat you in a battle. And that is your year, bro. That is your year. You didn't headline no events. You weren't on a Drake car. You wasn't at Breezy House. You wasn't on Summer Madness. 
I'm like, ah, leader, nigga couldn't headline one super fight. You can't headline one super fight, my nigga. And that is your year, bro. But Chris Unbiased, he's about to battle Sirius Jones on a super fight. So what, my nigga? You ain't even headlining that, bro. Look at the names on there. JC, Sharon, Sirius Jones. Bro, you not even headlining that. You know what I'm saying? Bro. I don't know what you it's, I don't know what you achieve by winning champion of the year, bro. I gotta keep it real with you. I don't, I don't know what you achieve, what you accomplish. You still the same old chiller, bro. You got zero perks for winning champion of the year. The best you got for winning champion of the year is is some money from black and a belt. Bro, these niggas, even your own peers talking down about you, bro. Hands aren't really being heard, you know, champion of the years and things like that. Chilling the winning? He always in the running. Ain't he? <laughs> I don't know if he's in the running, running. Oh, okay. see second too bad. Yeah. To me, you can never count him out. But they he just lost the EK, though, right? See, they see exactly. They I really, was there, and they not really, you know, I was putting like, him in the forefront. Yeah, that's the only thing I seen from him this year was that EK battle. Yeah, but then when we had the COVID, so it was getting COVID crazy. COVID area, they were saying getting crazy. But now, since we're back outside with the crowds, they're saying the pens kind of fade away. But come on, nigga. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You thought that shit was going to last, nigga? Not him. I'm not speaking specifically on him, but I'm just. That, that shit is cool for when it's cool. You still got to entertain 2,000 people sometimes, bro. I mean, I Chilla, you're the defending champion. And he's probably not in anybody's 10 this year. Unfortunately, Chilla Jones, this wasn't your year, bro. You came off an incredible year, and you finally grabbed that brass wing. You, we can honestly say Chilla Jones will walk away from this mug a legend. He's a former king of the dot champion and a former champion of the year. What more can you ask for with a resume like that? But this wasn't his year. After an incredible battle versus K-Shine, he ran into a buzzsaw that was the old Tay Rock, and Tay Rock did not play no games from uh, with that boy, spanking him. In front of his own parents. Tay Rock brought his parents to the battle to make sure everybody know he wasn't playing. Chilla, you've just been on the bad end of everything that's been going on this year. After the Tay Rock battle, you chilled for a little bit more. You got uh, Kid Chaos. You did your numbers versus Kid Chaos. Then you turned around and you ran into Emerson Kennedy. And it was like you, you didn't even look like the champion of the year we all know and love you to be. And that is why you are number two on the stock drop list, bro. But you ain't number one, luckily. Because this nigga, bro. Bro, I don't even know what's up with this dude, bro. Prep. Prep is number one on the stock drop list, man. Bro, I got to keep it real with you, man. I mean, you seem to be a cool dude when I talk to you. Bro, you got a little weirdness to you, bro. You kind of weird, my nigga. You kind of weird, for some of the stuff you did this year, bro. And it ain't even talking about no battles. Yeah, you battled Swave and got through the tournament, even though niggas was saying you lost the Swave or whatever. It ain't even on no battle rap tip. Bro, it started with ill will, bro. It started with ill will. You took a you took an angle that 40 Cal did saying he was a woman beater. And you went and photoshopped a woman getting beat up, bro. You even took it so far to go all the way to 15 minutes of fame, sit down and do an interview with Uncle Ra. And talk about <laughs> the contents of this envelope. Come to find out, it was pictures. It was a battered girl. Her eyes was all beat in. You know what I'm saying? And bloody and everything. It's like, bro, you did all that to win a battle? And what you don't even realize the weird part is, bro, like that kind of stuff could really exile Ill Will out of battle rap. Ill Will wanted to beat your ass, bro. I got to keep it real with you. You, you was on your way to get your ass beat, bro. That kind of stuff would could easily get ill will completely out of battle rap, bro. And I'm like, damn, how far would you really go to win a battle, bro? What you gonna come with a fake police report and all kind of stuff? ARP could not be putting ill will on Max out if this nigga was really battering and bruising women, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you really like you ain't just trying to win a battle. You try to get this man up out of battle rap. Stop. Being able to battle to provide food for his family. And then you talking about, yo, I just did it for the aesthetic. Yo, let's get this ill will shit out the way one time and one time only. You feel me? The ill will shit was supposed to go down. It didn't go down. It got canceled twice. You feel me? For whatever reasons. Whatever reasons it got canceled, it got canceled twice. You feel me? I goes on Uncle Rod. I hype 
get up. Uncle Rod sees him send an envelope. Next thing, got no team homie niggas hitting me behind the scenes. Ike P hit me and say, yo, Ill Will got some personal shit going on right now. Last thing he need is for some shit like this to be in the air and make it matters worse. You feel me? So weeks ago, I already said I wasn't going to show what was in that envelope. That shit was already a dead mission. I wasn't going to show what was in there. You feel me? But you feel a certain way about that. And as a man, I can't tell you how to feel. What was in the envelope? That shit wasn't nothing about you being no snitch. Nothing about you being gay. Nothing like that. But you feel disrespected. I ain't intend to disrespect you, but you feel disrespected. So since you feel disrespected, I can't tell you how to handle that shit. If you pop up and you say, yo, prep, I want that fade, I'm going to give you that fade. You want to go around a corner and you want to handle that shit with the knuckles, we can do that. You want to handle that shit with the gloves, we can do that. And we can do that shit and we can get up and go our separate ways. We can shake hands and go our separate ways. Or we can just go our separate ways, however the shit happens. You feel me? I'm not on that type of time, though. That shit is just battle rap with me. But for other niggas, it hit different. So if you pop up on that type of time, then I got to be on that type of time. As simple as that. You feel me? But I'm going to say this here. One time and one time only, the, the, the shit with the paperwork, with the report, the police report, and the shorty with the face beat up, that shit was just for aesthetics, man. That shit was just a prop to make that angle hit harder. The angle, I don't know if it's real or not. It's some shit that 40 Cal brung up when he was on stage and he said he allegedly had ill world baby moms up there. And then it was the motherfucking, the John John shit where he talked about in his battle. You feel me? So those two, I took those two angles and I put my own spin on the angle. So if those angles is real, then the angle I got is real. If those angles is fake, then the angle I got is fake. Bro, that's some weirdo stuff. Bro. That's some real weirdo stuff, bro. Then you battle KCJ. You out in the tournament. You had Sway. You got past Sway. You know what I'm saying? A lot of controversy around that battle KCJ. You let KCJ beat you, bro. That hundred K is mine now. Nine out. What the fuck this bitch did to me? Then you pretended to be six different battlers, bro. Rum Nitty, T Top, Twerk, Holmesy the God, the list goes on. You pretending to be six different battlers because there's a female who is a battle rap fan named Nettie McFly. Nettie McFly, oh my God. Named Nettie McFly who has low self-esteem and feels like no battle rappers want to talk to her. So you decide to play six different battle rappers, six different accounts, you know what I'm saying? Six different emails and start messaging this chick, bro. Bro, when I found out what was going on, I was like, yo, Prep, he really trying to be a, a, a captain save a chick. You know what I'm saying? Take the cape off, Prep. You know what I'm saying? He must be trying to get some coot nuke, man. But how did he know? How he found out? Come to find out, you play six different niggas and ain't get no ass, bro. You ain't get no ass out of this. So let me get this straight. You play six different people, message this girl over and over again between six different accounts, six different emails, six different characters. You did all this, and none of y'all six niggas could get no pussy, bruh. No, 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 bruh. You went out bad, bro. I gotta keep it real with you, bro. I don't know what's next for you, bro, but niggas ain't gonna wanna rock with you no more, bro. I, I, I keep it real with you. Niggas is not gonna wanna rock with you no more. I'm not saying it should be that way. Hopefully, it's not that way. And I'm not advocating it for it to be that way. But at the end of the day, you look bad, bro. You look really, really bad, man. And that is why you are number one on the stock drop list, man. The list is Mook, Jag, Official, Chilla Jones, and Prep. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate the support. You know what I'm saying? 2021 recap blog coming next. That's going to be a crazy blog as well, man. And I appreciate all the support, man. I'll let you, boy.